What's up, you guys, and welcome back to our channel. This is part two of a video that I did yesterday about how I need to make $210,000 to survive in private practice, right? So, for those of you who do not know who I am and do not know who my story is, I, my name is Danielle Bailey. I'm a licensed clinical social worker who decided to leave her full-time job and go full-time entrepreneurship in January 2019. I have decided to make this YouTube channel to actually capture my journey through this year. The good, the bad, the ugly. Show you guys. Yes, for those of you who want to do full-time entrepreneurship, like I want to show you the good side of entrepreneurship and I also want to show you the not so good side of the entrepreneurship. And I want I want to show you like my feelings, my emotions, like the up and ups and downs that I have with actually being a full-time entrepreneur. And I want to show you, I want to expose my fears. A lot of time people um see me and they're like, "Oh my god, you're so um you're so brave that you're able to do this. And it's just like, only if you knew, like, I'm scared shitless out here sometimes. And so, like I talked about last, like I talked about last video, and I am scared shitless. And sometimes I actually question and I doubt my own capabilities as a therapist. And I, so it's, it's human nature. It's in, it's, it's who we are. But the thing that I do not allow my fear or my self-doubt, what I don't allow it to do is conquer me. I conquer it. I tend to have this, um, for those of you, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I might cuss a little bit on this video. Um, use profanity on this video. So I don't allow my fear or my self-doubt to hold me back. I usually get this attitude like I'll I'll let it I'll let the fear, the doubt, self doubt, I'll let it go up here for a little while in my brain, but then I'll develop this attitude of fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Whatever it is that I want to do, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to get over the fear. I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to do it. So I develop this whole fuck it attitude and I go do it. And that's how I live a lot. Like a lot, a lot of times, that's how I don't allow my fear or my self doubt to conquer me. Because a lot of times I move, I'm operating out of God's strength and it ain't nothing but the devil. Okay. So. I know God and cussing, I know, but nonetheless, y'all. So, yes, yeah, so like last video, I said that there was a lot of fear about, you know, um, just this whole new thing. And then there's a lot of self-doubt, like, am I? Like, you know, girl, are you worth it? Like, can you even do that? Like, are you capable of doing that? All these thoughts that I'm having, and it's just like, Fuck it. And why not me? Why not me? Like, why not me? Why can't I have a successful thriving private practice? Why can't I have a two hundred make two hundred and ten thousand dollars in one year? That is nothing compared to, you know, some other stuff. Tyler Perry just had a three hundred and thirty acre studio. Like. Why not me? Why can't, like, if God can do that for him, why can't God do what? $210,000 a year. Like, that ain't nothing. That's nothing. And so it's stretching my faith. It's making me, you know, this goal right here, $210,000, it's scary, but it's also stretching me and really making me think like and questioning like everything like you and, and questioning whether or not I, I really have the amount of faith that I think I do in God or else I'm just out here faking, you know? So it really like when I thought about this this morning, like I'm, I'm recording this video on what today is Wednesday. I'm going to post it on Thursday. Yeah. But, like, when I tell you that the, like, that this was on my brain heavy this morning, that's why I'm making these videos and I want to put it out there. It may seem like I'm rambling, but, y'all, it's, like, 
I want you to understand the importance of our faith. Like, I'm just sitting back like $210,000 is a lot of money. Um, blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. And like, am I? Like, I'm having all of these the self-thoughts, self-sabotaging thoughts. Like, am I good enough? And I was, and the killing point, I just did a video for a group about charging your worth. And here I am, myself, having self-doubt. Having self-sabotaging doubts about whether or not I can do that or whether or not God can bless me with $210,000 in my private practice for one year. Right? I'm doubting God. And so it's just like, it made me take a step back. And I'm just like, yeah. There are some things that I got to do in my private practice before the end of the year to make sure that it is operating that God has been told me to do. Um, to make sure that it is operating at its full capacity. So I'm going to actually bring in somebody to actually help me to get the foundation, to get policies and procedures, like to get all of this stuff written down, to put into place things that I know that I need. And the killing part is I know that I can make $210,000. I know some of the formulas to make it. To make $210,000, but it's the execution that I will have problems with and how to necessarily execute it. Because to make $210,000, like I know therapists who are making six figures alone in journals, in um, planners, and stuff like that. I can create that. Like what's did what? <laughs> what makes me different that I cannot create something that people will love and people will use? I can create that with God's help. I can create it, you know? So it's just just like really, y'all going to hear me talk about God a lot, but really refocusing, getting back to the basics, um, and really knowing and trusting and believing in my own self. I talk to my clients about believing in yourself, but it's like, when you're under pressure, you tend to run, you tend to hide. Hasty faith. Look up, Mike. If y'all are not watching um, Crazy Faith series by Mike Todd and Transformation Church, y'all are doing yourself a disservice. Um, he talked about hasty faith in this last video, and he talked about how when we are under pressure, how sometimes we crumble, we fold, but sometimes God puts us in this pressure to um, to press us just to prepare us for the anointing. So it's just like, okay, I'm being pressed right now. And I need to get back focused upon the word of God and get focused and centered back on that in my practice and operate and move that way. I don't know how I'm going to come up with, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't personally, like I want y'all to understand. I don't know how to generate what well, I know, but I don't believe that I can do it. I know I know how to generate $210,000 in the private practice, but I doubt if I can do it. That's my self-doubt. So, I want y'all to know that, right? Because realistically, realistically looking, I don't have the referral source. I don't have um, the connections. I don't have the clientele. I don't have the payments that's going to produce $210,000 right now for next year. I don't have that. I don't, and I don't know where it's coming from, but it's just like, I'm going to operate on faith. I'm going to operate in knowing that God has got me, you know, that's what, that's how I'm going to operate. I'm going to operate in that manner. I'm going to, I'm not going to move until he tells me to move. I'm not going to do what he, what, you know, I want to do. And that's something that I am, I struggle with. I struggle with trying to do it on my own. And so, yeah, that's kind of where I met y'all. So, um, y'all stay tuned. Let's figure out, let's see how to execute obtaining $210,000 in a private practice in one year. 
and I don't even know. I know I'm nowhere close to that. I'm I, well, I, good. Yeah, y'all know how much do I make right now? I don't know, and that's the sad part. Like so, really getting stuff in place, y'all. Like God can bless you with something, but. He wants you to operate in a spirit of excellence. And so that's kind of where I'm at for the rest of 2019. Operating in the spirit of excellence. I can do excellent work with um, therapy clients. Do that great. But the business side of things is where I struggle. The admin side of things is where I struggle personally. So, God, like, tighten up on that, sis. And once you tighten up on that everything else will be able to fall in line and I will show you. So, but nonetheless, y'all keep me on the prayer list. Pray for me. I'll pray for y'all as well. Um, and I hope that you guys actually enjoyed this video, this little two-part series in um, 2020. I got this whole attitude as in fuck it. We are going to do it. Yeah, we're going to trust and we're going to depend and we're really going to believe God for what he says. Um, that he's, I know that like, y'all, and I know I feel like I'm rambling right now, but it's just like the whole Tyler Perry thing. And it's like, why can't God do this for me? Why am I sitting over here like God can't do this or I can't do this? Why, though? Why can't? Why can't it be me? Why can't it be me? You know? So, it can be me. It's going to be me. It shall be me. But nonetheless, y'all, this is the I am Danielle Bailey. I am giving you the real, the raw, the exposed truth. It does takes a lot it takes a lot of money to run a business to have um so I will I I will stop talking about these nine to five jobs like talking about, you know? Cause they do on the business side of things provide a lot for people. Like I didn't have to worry about whether or not I would have insurance at my job because I knew that they were giving to me. They would pay half of it, I would pay half of it. Or they'll pay the majority of it and I'll pay something on it. But now I have to pay it all. You know, I didn't, these jobs had their own business. I didn't have to worry about getting a check. Now, I have to worry about where the check is going to come from. I have to worry about the smaller things, the smaller details. But that, that's what makes you a business. That's what makes you a business woman. So, but nonetheless, y'all. Y'all be easy, y'all be greasy, and I shall see y'all on the next time around. Um, my name is Danielle Bailey. I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. $210,000, 2020, y'all.